Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll collect Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 37 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series. We're gonna go talk to Uncle. Plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's gonna happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but... On for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. All right. Fucking terminal lumbago. Wow, Uncle. Look at him. He's just sitting. Everywhere he goes, he's sitting. God damn, that's some good foundation, man. What are they hammering into? What are they nailing to? They're nailing to nothing. No support at all. They're just nailing. They should be nailing on an angle if they're looking to nail that in. What the fuck are they doing? I remember they're those special bendy nails. He's not nailing. Oh well, God. we worked so hard to build a little house together. A good effort, man. Yeah. I can't wait to get this video claimed because of the music. That's pretty cool. No matter what the weather, guaranteed. We're together. Why does the prompt show up even when you're not doing anything? So these ones make sense. Man, that's a good floor. Lift it! Oh. Shirtless bloody John, mate. Go on, Uncle. Yeah, you tell us how to do it. Oh, he's holding it. Actually partly bracing it. It's a miracle. Man, that actually looks really good. Why would you start from the mid? What? No matter. Uh, any weather. We're together. Uncle, seriously. Does Charles look like he's in the mood to dance? Now oh, the old shingle time. Such a scattered build. <laughs> He's got his cap and pieces.
And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> that's a good looking house. To this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> All right, John. Time to write a letter. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is... I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Yeah, in his own fashion, oh, that's Smith. right has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Well, <clears throat> you know, that house is actually really good. Cowboy Builder. old flat pack houses back in the 1900s it's insane Uncle, i thought you was where the hell he's gone and just disappeared as uncle always does where the fuck is he what the fuck is he doing out in the middle of nowhere take the horse screw running come on horse i'm gonna call you jimmy jimmy the horse because I'm too uninventive to think of anything else. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats... Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. That was a good, like, pre-cut house, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, where we go? Oh, you're following me. Awesome. I like when I don't have to go at their pace, I go at mine. Some country rube doesn't know a pre 
cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Fuck off. Shit. You was gonna say No no, you need someone with some sense to negotiate. No, I don't. Hurry the fuck up, Uncle. There he comes. Fucking shit stain is. We gonna stay together now? No. This is him. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? You're in enough debt as it is. I gotta help you all I can. All right, Lumberman. Hey, how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. <laughs> How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Hey! That's Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. Right. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. All right, let's go, Sadie. I have it on good authority. We can find this bounty a painted sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Ride to painted sky, huh? All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but hmm. saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. All right. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you Jesus. Name. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back Wait, the what? chaos. You've gone wrong. No shit. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, right. I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he 
didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, Jones. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. So do I. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. This is don't say that, Sadie. Don't say it like that. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Sounds good to me. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. No. Right. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Don't fight it! Just drift away! Not a chance, dickhead. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Well, he put up a fight. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. I'm sure it is. That hurt. You want mine? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Come on. Better than any bounty, though. That's tempting. Man, I got a sore throat and it's driving me fucking crazy. Absolutely driving me nuts. I ate something earlier and I just like swallowed it on the wrong side of my throat and I think it's like just carved it up. Fucking kills. Buddy Roads, eh? Looks like the same old place to me. Hit your horse up here. Yeah, the old sheriff's office. Hard. How you doing? Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred! Mr. Sheriff? Three hundred! Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. 
Damn. Okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sounds sure. good. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> hmm. Something's gonna happen. Hmm. Holy fuck, how long do you want to stay here? Great. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him come, it, boys. I know it's not the most efficient method. Oh my god. What was it? Come on. Oh, they blew out the back the of the prison. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. I'm Jim Milton. I'm ready to fuck him up. I'm Jim Milton. That's John's like new persona. He just says his name all the time. I'm Jim Milton. I'm Jim Milton. I'm Jim Milton. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. All right, Sadie, calm down. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If Is we he? come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Hmm. Oh yeah. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty, but we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Hmm. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. It's true. I got a reputation for honest work. So Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. 
I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. That's true. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hmm. All right, how far are we riding? Where's Dewberry Creek? Hold up. Oh. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. All right. Hey, wrong way, dog. I was spinning around. It takes time. Oh, apparently I'm wanted here. I say come on when I'm right next to you. Some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Hold. Come on. I'm coming. <clears throat> you seem nervous, John. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. All right. Come on. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna fucking die, Sadie. Oh, well, I'm fucking dead. Yep. Fucking cleaned up. Fuck, I have no health potions or anything. I take way too much fall damage. Oh, we got express. Let's do that.
I'm trying, Sadie. I need to loot him. Wow, he's a good shot. Oh, I'm fucking dead again. Oh, it's fucking hard, man. Oh, damn. Regroup. Think about it. I have no heals. I have food that I can eat to restore my core at best. And I'm getting shot at by people, even if I tried to do that. Fuck. Me, mate. All right, let's just do it. Fucking. Oh, oh. All right, le less full damage than earlier as well. Let's go the old express ammo. You know what? We could just fucking. We could do it from a distance. Going through him. Alright, let's do this one now. I was hoping to wound him, but I shot him in the fucking back. Yes, fucking... We can... All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try oh. anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> I said... Get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut oh. mouth! Oh! God damn. How many fucking... How many of them are there? They keep coming on. Oh damn, well, dude. That's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy <laughs> bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. I'm glad you made a friend. 
Well, that doesn't happen. I'm back, girl. It's about time we collected this bounty. Let's go. What do you think, kids? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. You are a dead man. I'm waiting, Sadie. As long as I got fresh tracks to wander, I ain't complaining. Leave out of the way. So back to what you were saying. Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You. Anyone who is close to you. I prefer it. Close to you. Got a point. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know <laughs> just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we're gonna come for you! Looks like. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old Rove. If you say so. See you around, partner. God, I love Sadie. She's got to be the one of the best characters in the game. She's but like batshit fucking insane, and I love it. Oh, the barn's up. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. Alright, well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Ring the bell, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Alright, pause.